Okay, so I know this video is kind of different from videos I usually post. Um, the video I wish we were gonna post here has some issues, and so I couldn't get it up. I couldn't edit it through, get it up, and stuff. So I am thankful for this moment that I saw in store today. But I just want to add at the end that I, I that I couldn't whip out my camera fast enough to get this on camera because the employee was getting up right as I noticed it, but. I watched, right before I left, I watched an employee at this grocery store bend down, get on the floor, get on his knees, and just pet the dog constantly. The dog was letting it happen. The owner just let it happen. The owner watched as the employee let the dog, let the, the owner watched as the, as she let the employee pet her dog. But I watched this employee take his hand, touch the dog, pet the dog, and then go back to stocking food. I don't know if like I'm the only one who freaking got uneasy with this or if other people get uneasy with this, but why would you just touch a dog? Why? What? And I shop here a lot. I've never taken Mercury here yet because like I want to. I actually really want to train Mercury at this store, but now I'm like, are they educated enough to let me take Mercury to this store? The fuck? <laughs> I just have a question like, Anyone who's watching this, does anyone else feel uneasy about the fact that an employee touched a random dog and then started stocking food back up on the shelves? Like, okay, I'm pretty, I think it was like packaged food, but I don't care. <laughs> You're still touching food. And to me, I just find it so uneasy, just the fact that like, I don't know why. I mean like, cause like with service animals, like when you have a service dog, they're not supposed to touch the food on the shelf. Um, same with children. If you have a child who's biting a box of cereal or drooling on a box of ch a bag of chips, don't put it back on the shelf. If you have a soda or a cup and you're drinking it while shopping and then you finish it, you put it on the shelf, that is disgusting. So if you're an employee and you see a dog and you happen to just pet the dog, even if you're not supposed to pet the dog, even though you're not anyway, you happen to pet this dog. Why the hell would you just pet the dog when you have to stock stuff? Like, it's just still, like, a count, right? Like, I, I'm not the only one who's feeling, like, uneasy about this. Like, I'm not feeling, I'm, like, I'm not wrong for feeling really weirded out about this particular thing. Like, just, like, why the heck would someone do that? That is just... To me, I just find that a little disgusting, especially since I shop there, like, a lot. And the fact that this happens makes me really not want to take Mercury ever, even when he's fully trained. Because, like, if the employees are like this, like, I went to a city where I used to live, because like, you guys know I moved. And I used to live, there was a grocery store that I used to train my dogs at. Because, like, when I had Holly, I trained him there. When I had Mercury, around that time, I trained him there because they were actually good with it. They had a few fakes. But they were good with the fact that even though they didn't kick out fakes, they were good with um, making sure that they won't disturb a service animal. And I remember an employee going to pet Mercury and the co-worker going, don't do that, that dog is working. But at this grocery outlet, I know there was no employee around it, but even the employee just bent down and pet the dog. You know, just like, dude, first of all, I don't think that's a service animal. I mean, I did apply for a job at this place, so honestly, if I was to get hired... One, I would definitely not bring Mercury until he's at least very fully trained. Because one, it's a grocery store working around food. I don't even bring him out every day right now because he's still like beginning training. So, obviously. But, honestly, if they can they hire me? Because I would educate this store so fast on the laws of service animals. I would kick people out so freaking fast. I would be like, you? No, no, no. Get that dog away from that food. Because... If, if you guys go back and watch, there was like a time where I pointed out well, that I didn't notice till I was editing the video together for this video. The dog, I caught the dog on camera sniff a person's shoe who wasn't with the person. The lady was by herself and this dog sniffed another person's shoe. And I was just like, I didn't notice that till just now. And I was just like, the hell are you doing? <laughs> um, But yeah. I By the way, I just made this before this, I just made this video as like a PSA of a don't do this type thing. So hopefully, if I find more like this, I'm not vlogging the day. I'll probably do more videos like this. 
um, because I do like the idea of this kind of putting an awareness to don't do this. This is something you should not do. And I really hope that I actually did a really good job at cutting off the person's face. And if I, did, if I show the person's face, I'm so sorry, but like, um, I don't want to show the person's face because like, I'm going to keep it anonymous because I'm going to be polite that way, but just don't bring your pet into a store. If you got to go to a store, don't bring your pet at all. Like, don't bring them at all. Like, not even joking. Um, just don't bring them. It's that simple. It's like that simple. Um, so yeah. That's it.